What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Dollar Mike, aka Michael Mitchell, back at it again with another video. So about one month ago, I was actually looking to get a new credit card, my fifth credit card to be exact, and I actually put a video out titled basically my next credit card because I wasn't really sure which credit card to get. And I obviously asked you guys for some advice and I gave you guys the options I was currently looking at, which was five different credit cards. And those five credit cards were the Chase Sapphire Preferred, the Amazon Prime Rewards credit card, the Wells Fargo Propel credit card, the US Bank Altitude Go, and the American Express green card. So those were the five credit cards that I kind of had in mind for what I want to do going forward. I mainly needed the credit card for travel and food because my Uber card was basically useless at this point. If you guys don't know about the Uber card, make sure you check out my Uber card video and why it's basically, it's not a useless card anymore, but it's not the best card you could get for traveling food anymore for the most part. It's definitely other cards that's better than it and the rewards back program now kind of sucks. So make sure you check out my Uber card video for all the Uber card credit card thing type of needs that you may have. But regardless, in that video, I explained all the different credit cards. I explained the benefits, the disadvantages of all those different kind of credit cards. And I kind of came to the conclusion to get either the American Express green card or the Chase Sapphire preferred card. And today is that day we actually do have a new credit card on the channel. I have it right here in this little envelope. So I guess we can do a little mini unboxing though. I mean, it's, it's, it's nothing really to unbox as a credit card. Um, but yeah. Let's see what credit card I got. So let's get into the video. Let's go. So without actually keeping you waiting and doing a fake unboxing of an envelope, because it's nothing to really unbox. It's a credit card. Like I said before, I'm just going to tell you what the credit card is. And I actually got the Chase Sapphire Preferred credit card. Here we go. The Chase Sapphire Preferred credit card is all mine. I would show you the back, but the card numbers are on the back. And I kind of need to, you know, use this card for myself. I mean... Maybe down the line we can we can do a giveaway talk or something like that. I can, you know, buy something on this card and give it back to you guys. But regardless, for the time being, you can't see the numbers on the back. But I did get the Chase Sapphire Preferred credit card. So that is my choice. That is my go-to. That made the most sense for me. But now, why did I actually make that decision? And what does the credit card actually offer? Because some of you may just be watching this for the first time. So let's get right into that. The Chase Sapphire Preferred is actually my first credit card that comes with a yearly fee. Yes, a yearly fee to have the credit card, to keep the credit card, to hold the credit card, all that. That yearly fee is $95 a year, but it is still 100% well worth it. $95 a year is absolutely nothing compared to the benefits that you get on this card and the money you'll save from just having this card versus just paying with debit or just having another card in general. So by simply going over the benefits of this card, you can probably easily understand why I got this card and why $95 a year is actually virtually nothing because like I said before, you get a lot of benefits with this card and it definitely equals well over $95 every single year as long as you actually use the card for the intended purposes. You'll always come out on top unless you basically just don't use the card. To be honest, if you don't use the card, that's the only way you don't come out on top because like I said before, it's so many benefits, but let's get into those benefits, okay? So nice enough from Chase, they actually send you a little bit of a benefits package that gives you everything you need to know, all the benefits and whatnot of the credit card. They all put in this little blue benefits package. You can always check on the app or the website to find the same thing so you're gonna get two times the points back on travel and two times the points back on dining as well as one times the points back on essentially everything else this can all be redeemed for chase ultimate rewards points or you can redeem it simply for cash obviously if you redeem it for chase ultimate rewards points you'll get 25 percent more value for those points versus just redeeming it for cash so for example if you have 60,000 points on your card which you can get if you take advantage of the sign up bonus and honestly if you don't take advantage of sign up bonuses on credit cards they're virtually useless do not get a credit card if you're not going to take advantage of the sign up bonus for this credit card in particular if i spend four thousand dollars within three months yes four thousand dollars within three months of getting approved for the card then i'll get sixty thousand points ultimate rewards points from chase for free which essentially means i'll get 750 dollars in travel credit or 600 dollars in cash depending on whichever one i want to do obviously i'm probably going to take the one in travel credit because obviously you get more money in travel than you do in cash but some people may just want the cash option so it is an option if you want to do that but hey you know that's just me you can do you you can do whatever you want because guess what it's your credit card it's your money you can do whatever you want that's all i'm saying about that so yes two times the points back in travel two times the points back in dining one times the points back and everything else. The booklet is nice and all, but there's literally a full blown list of exactly what you get, all your benefits, everything, right when you sign up for the card, everything's there for you. So I'm actually gonna go over to the website and show you guys exactly what you get. So the first thing you're gonna get is fraud alerts, which every credit card should kind of have. You're also gonna get auto rental collision damage waiver. So basically, if you need to go rent a car from any type of place, you can just pay with that Chase Sapphire preferred card and you'll get primary rental care instead of actually paying extra when you go and rent a car. So that's very handy. That two times the points 
hours back and travel covers airfare, hotels, car rentals, and more. And trust me, anything regarding to travel, it covers like that covers your gas as well. Things like that, you all get two times the points back. When it comes to restaurants, it doesn't matter if it's fast food, fine dining, DoorDash, you're always going to get another two times points back for that. And when it comes to the Uber, you'll get two times points back for that because obviously that is travel. When it comes to Lyft, temporarily, when it comes to Lyft, you'll actually get five times the points back when you use Lyft using the Chase Sapphire Preferred card up into March of 2022. So five times the points back for that. That is super nice. As well as you'll get a one year complimentary DoorDash Dash Pass subscription, which is super nice. If you guys don't know what DoorDash Dash Pass is, it is essentially DoorDash, which if you don't know what DoorDash is, it's essentially a food delivery service. So Uber Eats, DoorDash, same thing. All the same thing. Postmates, all the same thing. But with DoorDash Dash Pass, you actually can cut out all those fees that you normally pay on DoorDash. So if a restaurant has a fee or a delivery fee or anything like that, all those fees are cut out for one year with the DoorDash Dash Pass, and you get that for free just for having the card. That's super cool. As well as just the two times points back just for using DoorDash in general. So super cool in that part. I've already used DoorDash today, and it works just fine. All I had to do is put my card on the DoorDash app, and boom, I got a free Dash Pass subscription for one year. It actually says it doesn't expire till January 1st of January 31st of 2022. So I guess it's even longer than one year, which is cool. It's only supposed to be a year, but it says it expires in 2022 and it's not even 2021 yet. So I'll take it. I'm not going to deny that. You're also going to get extended warranty protection for everything you buy with the card, obviously like that. That's good stuff right there. Visa concierge service, trip delay, reimbursement, events and experiences. That's kind of random. Like I said, but the DoorDash thing, that's cool. You'll get chip enabled security, which is, you know, you get the chip on the card. Nothing special there. Every card has that now. You can go paperless. That's not really a benefit, but whatever. Everybody kind of go paperless now. Five times the points back in Lyft, which I talked about before. Normally you earn two times the points back, but you'll actually earn five times up until March of 2022. Roadside dispatch. So if you have any problems with your car or anything like that, you go ahead and call them and they'll take care of that for you. Travel accident insurance, fraud protection, travel emergency assistance, automatic account alerts, which like I said, some of these things are kind of like every account has, but either way, you still get some really good stuff with this card. Automatic account alerts, tap and pay contactless. So it is a contactless card. You never have to even swipe or put the chip in to pay. As long as it's a contactless actual interface, you just hover the card over the payment and boom, you can pay for stuff that way. Foreign transaction fees, yeah, there's none of those. One to one point transfer, 24 seven direct customer service, which is very nice because I thought everyone kind of had that with every credit card, but you really don't. You don't have 24 seven access to talk to anyone. That's just not how it is. I already actually talked to them on the phone just to see when my card came and everything. And it was a super smooth process. It took about three minutes, four minutes like that. Even though they said it would take a really long time because of the whole health crisis going on outside, they still got back to me, what, three minutes? I'll take that. That's pretty pretty solid, I think. And I didn't even have the card yet. Zero dollar liability protection. So you don't have to worry about if anybody makes any unauthorized charges on your account. Because remember, you want to pay for stuff with a credit card. You have more protections when you pay for things with a credit card. Make sure you watch my other credit card videos to understand that in full. But real quick, if you pay for something with a credit card, the money doesn't come out your bank account. It takes away from your credit limit. So if anything goes wrong with your credit card, somebody steals it or whatever, they got the card numbers and they go and run your credit card up. It does not matter because as long as you can verify that you didn't make any of those charges, then you're all straight. Now, if somebody took your debit card and did the same exact thing, then guess what? You're just kind of out of money. So like I said before, credit cards are definitely a great tool to use when it comes to basically any purchase. I don't use debit cards at all. Make sure you check out my video for that. But I don't use, I haven't used a debit card in, I don't know, almost two years now. So, and I probably will never use a debit card again because there's really no point in using a debit card at all. I get money back for everything I buy. Why do I use a debit card when you get nothing back? You know, just things to think about, you know, that's all. You'll also get access to the credit journey program, which essentially tells you how your credit score is and anything you can do to actually improve it going forward. It also shows you just all your credit in general so you can have a good idea of what's going on with your credit, making sure everything's right. It's a cool little thing. It's nothing, it's just like credit karma, nothing, nothing special there, but it is nice to have. You can add authorized users, which all credit cards you can't do, but if you want somebody else to use your credit card or you need, you know, you have a spouse or whatever and you want to give another card to them and y'all can both use the card, then boom, you just add an authorized user and it's that simple. And last thing, but definitely not the least, is lost luggage reimbursement. So real quick, I do want to go over some of those reimbursements when it comes to travel because that is super important. And to begin, let's talk about the trip cancellation and trip interruption insurance. So if your trip gets canceled for whatever reason or interrupted for whatever reason, that means sickness, severe weather, anything that can kind of just happen, the car will essentially cover your trip up to $10,000 per trip. So just like that, you're good. In case like, for instance, you go book an Airbnb or something happens to you, but the Airbnb host basically says, oh, well, you can't get a refund because you, you can't get a refund. It's, it's too late for you to get a refund. You can, as long as you paid with this card, this card right here, as long as you pay with that card, you can get a refund from Chase. Check that out. Just show them the proper documentation. 
send it all in, do the dispute and whatnot, boom, they'll recover all your funds. They'll do that for you up to $10,000 per trip. That's super nice. Same thing goes with baggage delays. You know how travel goes. You know, sometimes they lose their bags. Sometimes your baggage is delayed. And in the case, if your baggage is delayed more than six hours, they'll cover you up to $500 per trip or $100 every single day in baggage delays. So I'll take it. The thing is, I mean, $500, you might think that's not really a lot of money to cover up in baggage or $100 a day to cover up in baggage after six hours. But hey, you're getting something versus absolutely getting nothing at all. So definitely a nice little perk there as well. When it comes to your whole trip actually being delayed and not just your baggage, you'll also get $500 back per ticket on the card as well. Nothing special there, but it's definitely something useful if you want to take advantage of it. And if you travel, because like I said before, this is a travel and dining card for me. If you travel, then... Come on, bruh. It's kind of a no-brainer, right? It is. Same thing goes for purchase protection. You're going to get up to $500 per claim on purchase protection. So if something happens to an item within 120 days of you buying it with that Trace Sapphire preferred credit card, then you'll get up to $500 to either replace that item or repair that item. Like I said before, it's not $2,000. It's not $5,000. You could buy a new Mac and still be out of luck, kind of, because you obviously you can't replace a Mac with $500. But the thing is, they're giving you something better than nothing. All right, that's all I'm saying. The last thing is definitely super nice and obviously comes with most high-end credit cards and that is extended warranty protection. You get $10,000 per claim with this one. So already on top of all those benefits that I just mentioned, Chase has even more random benefits that kind of just come and go literally randomly that just benefits you as a consumer so let me just go over a couple of those real quick so i don't know if any of you actually use instant card i don't personally use instant card but essentially instant card is an app you download the app and they essentially ship groceries to your house that's pretty cool i think personally if i don't need to go to the grocery store i don't want to go to the grocery store as far as i know that's what they do maybe they ship other stuff i really don't know the app in its full entirety but as far as i know you buy something and they ship it to your house and it can kind of be anything i don't know if it's just groceries or anything but Hey, it is what it is. Regardless, right now, temporarily from July 1st to September 30th of 2020, you're going to get three times the points back anytime you use Instacart using the Chase Sapphire Preferred. That's pretty cool. And that's only one of those temporary benefits they have. The next one, you're going to get three times the points back in gas stations. Normally, you only get two times the points back in gas stations, but now you're actually getting three times the points back in gas stations from July 1st to September 30th of 2020. That is super nice. And like I said, just another random benefit just added on top of all the benefits that you already have. Also, from July 1st to September 30th of 2020, you're going to get five times the points back on all streaming services, Disney+, Plus, Hulu, ESPN+, Plus, Netflix, Sling TV, Voodoo, FUBU TV, Apple Music, Sirius XM, Pandora, Spotify, and YouTube TV. You're going to get five times the points back from now until September 30th of 2020. Just a random perk that they randomly give you, and I'll take it because it's five times the points back. Like I mentioned before, all these points are Chase Ultimate Reward points, so if you actually redeem anything using the Chase Ultimate Rewards portal, you'll get an extra 25% of what you're redeeming it for. So like I said before, if you have 60,000 points, that essentially equates to $600 but 60,000 points if you use the Chase Ultimate Rewards Portal uh, basically means 750 points. So you're getting an extra $150 in value, an extra 25% in value just by redeeming it on the Chase Ultimate Rewards Portal, which is super simple to use. Obviously, you just go to the portal and redeem your points. It's that easy. You can't really make this stuff that much harder. But if you want to redeem it for cash, it's going to be one-to-one. -one. And like I said before, you want to redeem it for cash, perfectly fine. Nothing wrong with doing that. It's your money. So that's $600 in cash, $750 in Chase Ultimate Reward points. Super cool stuff, bro. I'm not going to lie. So yes, the Chase Sapphire Preferred card is my fifth credit card. I might actually have a sixth credit card before this year ends, but we'll see about that. And I'll obviously make a video about that. Do I love this credit card already? Yes. Is this my favorite credit card already? Yes, I think so. I think it is my favorite credit card already. It's so many benefits with this card. I love the Apple card and all that kind of stuff, but the, I mean, there's nothing wrong with the Apple card, actually. It's a great first credit card. It's a great credit card in general, but this is my favorite credit card so far. The value, it's just so much value for what you get. $95 a year actually means absolutely nothing to me because you get so much value, so much worth from this one credit card. I love it already. I've had it for a day. Has it been a day? I had this credit card for less than one day already, and I already spent $600 but it doesn't really matter because either way, we're not paying any interest around here. Make sure you pay your credit card off in full every single month to make sure you don't pay any interest because if you pay any interest, it deletes the whole point of any credit card. Don't get any credit card if you can't pay for the value of whatever you're buying in full every single month. We don't pay any interest around here. That's not what we do. No, 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 not at all. But 
Chase Sapphire Preferred, do I recommend it? Yeah. Should you get one? Sure. And if you actually do plan on getting the Chase Sapphire Preferred credit card, make sure you just click that link down below and it'll give me a little bit of kickback. It'll obviously help me out or help the channel out. All the money I get back from any type of referrals or anything like that all goes back into the channel. That is 100% a fact and it is proven by all the stuff that I actually buy for the channel and I actually I have plenty more to buy for the channel. It is expensive stuff when it comes to the equipment I kind of want as far as just things I just want in general just to make the videos better. So if you do want the credit card, just make sure you click that Chase link down below and get this credit card because it's a great credit card. I'm telling you, I promise you, this is my favorite credit card so far, but we'll see what the future holds. You know what I'm saying? We'll find out. But that is essentially it for today's video. So if you like this video, make sure you hit it with a like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel because I have plenty of more content coming as far as credit cards, as far as personal finance, all that goes. Make sure you check out the channel if this is the first time you're ever seeing anything on my channel, but I cover a lot of different things. I promise you, personal finance, Anything relating to money, I got you covered. That's all this channel is about, and it's all it'll probably always be about. And if I want to talk about something else like gaming or something, I'll probably make a second channel or whatever to do something like that. Regardless, if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button. I'm out. Dollar Mike. Peace.